Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got to grind uh, two small stumps that, at each corner of the house. So I get questions all the time about, uh, hey, you know, sometimes you got locates and sometimes you don't. Well, the background is I worked a year and a half for Bell South as a contractor marking for them. And I worked seven and a half years working for a uh, utility company that, and I where I marked gas, water, and electric all day long. That's all I did. So uh, I'll turn around here and I'll show you uh, examples of what to look for. Okay, when you're out uh, grinding stumps and you want to get an idea of where things run on general, now this is not every day, you know, all the time, but at least in my area. So here's what you got. So, all right. So you come back here and you're looking for the gas. All right, there's your gas meter right there. So to right off the bat, <clears throat> I could tell you that that uh, gas meter is plastic or that gas line is plastic. And how you know right off the bat, it has a trace of wire uh, with it. So when the guy goes to locate, he puts a ground rod right here and then he hooks his positive wire right here and he might have a pipe horn or a subside or you know all different there they, there's four or five different types of equipment but right off the bat so if i'm a contractor and looking to go and dig <coughs> i already know that that's a um uh a yellow piece of pipe i'm looking for pvc pipe so they usually what they normally do they'll dig it all the way out here and then they'll turn it and go straight to straight to the road you know uh it just depends that they put it in all different ways you know if if this runs across the street for example this is in my area now this is not always i don't know how it is across everywhere else but example you can look you can almost tell well can't tell it on that one but uh, you could tell which side of the gas main is it's usually the opposite of the water main well this is in a cul-de-sac so if that water main if I walk out here and, and the um, walk over there and the valves are on that side of the road, then I could tell the water main is on this side, of the, uh, on the other side of the road, runs down into cul-de-sac and, and stops right there where the fire hydrant is. Um, so that would make the water uh, gas main on this side of the road. And depending on like in my area, <coughs> excuse me, in my area, they got two different ga gas companies. They usually put it uh, three to four foot off the, you know, off the curb, or they'll put it way up in the yard. I mean, they got an easement, especially in a new subdivision. They'll put it way up in the yard. So, it, and if you're not sure, not sure where everything runs or how the gas is or whatever, you can usually tell. Uh, um, for instance. If you if that gas main was on the other side of the road, more than likely, not always, but if it's an older place, it'll have a crack in the road all the way across. Where they, you could tell if they have a crack like that, they did a uh, they did a bore. You know, they set up and drilled across uh, underneath the ground, and they come up above it and they tap the gas main over there, or they set their boring machine up in that yard and they bored all the way over to here. And they either backhoed it or trenched it all the way to the side of the house. The other thing, all right, so now do you see the electric? All right. So electric's got PVC pipe, you know, four-inch pipe going up it. Well, you, you know, you're thinking, well, oh, it's got to be conduit all the way there. Well, not always the case. Back in, there are certain subdivisions where I live in, like, say, southeast Huntsville, it's direct buried. They don't have conduit so they they literally ran a trench they took a trencher out and they they uh trenched it all the way to the house well if it was a stump or a root right there you might have it go off like this and it swing out and uh, they run it to the house i've seen it where i literally went over to it and kicked it and i i seen secondary wire exposed on top of the ground from erosion happening they didn't bury it deep enough the landscaper come in and they graded the yard knocked it down some more inches so but if you look you can literally see a ditch line from this right there going there so i'm about pretty 100 sure that that's the ditch line running for the electric 
going through there so now far as the um the cable tv and bell south all, all these different you know they can run it any way they can i mean it, it's they they only put it three to four inches below the ground and i would say out of all the utilities that i worry about hitting the most i worry about hitting the uh you know the phone and the internet and all that because they could bury it two or three inches or they could take a spade and they put it in the ground with a spade and then throw the the wire in the ditch with it which they don't a spade goes three four inches five inches you know five to six inches i mean it ain't deep they just hit it in the ground and they lay it over they put the uh, wire in the ground and then fold it back over and they keep going they don't even get a, a trencher off the truck so you know i mean ideally uh ideally it would be run you know it would come down and do that but that ain't how it man that ain't how it goes so so when you're grinding like say you got these roots right here you're grinding and you might be all the way over here grinding and whatnot and it vibrates so much that it would actually vibrate the the cable tv out of the ground break it or whatever so you have to watch out uh, you have to watch out for stuff like that so you'll be grinding over here and this fruit will be over here you know that's the same thing with irrigation water the you know the same thing i mean you know you can grind right here and it and it'll be all tangled up in a pvc pipe but the vibration will literally break it look at everything so if you had a sprinkler head you know you have to be cautious all right so as far as the water and this is my area again you know as far as water they usually go from the spigot to the water meter so you come out here and you find the water meter you know so the spigot was over there and i'm assuming this is it so here we go so if you had to take a guess it's going to be a straight you know normally it'd be a straight shot to the spigot but if they had a tree here or root here or whatever i mean you know unless somebody's odd you know they might go up here and then 90 over you know but more than likely they're going to do a straight shot all the way uh to the house to the spigot so if you're looking that's just give you a couple ideas in general i mean this is not road road in stone or nothing and i'm not you know but i've got nine and a half years of experience and i've been around gas mains water mains <coughs> you name it uh you know and uh i've seen them hit stuff you know even when i had a trencher putting in uh irrigation a little bit uh that's the stuff you run into so but uh it is always good to call in the locates for 811 and get a locate uh called in if you're going to do any digging no matter what then that covers you uh you know on the digging and uh it takes care of yourself it makes a ticket of it and the contractors can't lie you know and i've had them lie buddy let me tell you oh my gosh i had this one guy i'll give you a funny story i had this one guy when i was working this guy would dig up my stuff i go out and market and this guy would dig up my uh markings all the time i mean he, and he would call in to my boss saying that i wasn't out there marking and so uh so one time i got fed up with it i was about i was tired of his crap and everything so he was digging on this side of the road right here he was digging out here you know he was putting in them i don't know i think he was putting in a water main and uh anyway i was working for bell south and they had a pulp cable in the uh in the you know in the area it's very expensive i think it was a hundred grand so anyway he's digging along with his backhoe and he keeps digging my marks up and he's just plowing ahead and everything well i done got fed up with the crap so on the other side of the road i put uh idiots across the street marking and i put offsets uh offsets on the other side of the road and uh i stepped it off you know we back then you'd have to step it off and then you take your sprayer you know and you put three foot four foot whatever anyway i rode on the other side the idiot's gonna cut my cut my 900 pair pulp cable or whatever i put you know and i put it on the other side of the road and i put the dimensions and uh sure as the world he said he called out there he called my mom, boss and he said hey man this guy ain't marking his stuff and I said, oh, man, I done marked it. He said, no, you ain't marked it. I done, uh, you know, tore the stuff up, and I ain't paying for it. He said, 
I said, I said, no, man, I marked it. He said, no, you didn't. I said, yeah, I did, and I met with my boss out there. And he was out there with me, at, and I said, hey, Doug, uh, or uh, whatever his name was, I said, I did mark it. I said, look at the other side of the street over here, and you'll see my markings. And sure enough, I went over there, and it said, idiot's going to cut my 900 pair, you know, all that. And I wrote it on the other side of the other, and we used the offset mark. And, of course, we took pictures back then, but... Uh, you know, it, they threw it out of uh, court, and he that company had to pay, and he went he went in bankruptcy, unload the stump grinder, and uh, knock out these two uh, uh, stumps.